Hello everybody, on this video I'm going to talk about the two best things that any junior developer can do to improve their learning experience, their process and their career as a whole. First thing, not only focus on the technology, by this I mean if you just started um, learning web development, let's say, you're going to start with HTML, then you're going to move on to CSS, right? Now, don't only focus there and like, I need to dominate CSS and I'm not going to look anywhere else. Learn CSS, study CSS, but also start looking into the whole landscape of web development. Maybe Google some words, maybe ask friends, maybe look into forums, maybe just be curious about how the whole landscape looks. Maybe like, you know, like for example, you will look at Instagram. How is Instagram made? So you're going to Google that and you'll see Django. You're like, all right, so what's Django? And then you look, oh, it's a Python thing. Python, what's Python? Oh, it's a language. Cool. I'm not saying go and learn Python and go and learn Django, but at least learn the landscape of what you just got into. Not only focus on CSS, learn stuff. Learn the outside part, like all the landscape, all right? So this will also help you because then when you're done with HTML CSS, you might be thinking like, actually, I, don't, I didn't really like this part of doing design, but I read about Instagram being built on Django. So you know what? Let me go and get Django because now I know what a backend is. So let's go and learn backend. If you didn't Google and do all that stuff, all the research before, you wouldn't know where to go next and you would just follow the script that everybody tells you, that even I tell you. If you know the landscape, you will be able to play to your strengths and you will be able to say, you know what? I don't know what uh, Node.js is, but I heard is good for real time because Google uh, Uber runs on Node.js. So I want to build a real time game. Maybe I should start there, probably. This knowing the landscape will help you a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, because it will make you more knowledgeable of the area where you are. Again, you will still be learning CSS and you will start small and you will move on slowly, but knowing the landscape and knowing what you got yourself into is very good. And this will help you on the next thing I will recommend. The second thing is that you need to go and work for free. Work for free. I know many people would say, you should never work for free. If you're good at something, never do it for free. People don't appreciate free stuff, blah, blah, blah. Hear me out. If you're just a junior developer and you have no portfolio whatsoever, and you're gonna go out there and look for a job, and you're gonna go out there and look for a client, it's gonna be harder than if you had a portfolio and then if you had some experience. So the best thing you could do for your career will be to start working for free. Do stuff for free, do useful stuff for free, and help others on the way. I could tell you, you know what? Just make a toy project every weekend, and after two months, you're going to have eight toy projects. One per week, there's gonna be a huge portfolio, maybe that will get you hired. And that's okay, you could do that. But also, if you go and work for free, you will get experience that no, no toy project can give you. If you go and work for free, let's say you work for your uncle and he's got some restaurant or whatever, right? If you go there and work for free, you will learn how to maybe communicate with a client, how to understand the needs of a business, how to understand what to use on this business. If, for example, you will see your uncle's business, whatever it is, and you see that he is maybe taking reservations via phone calls and then he puts them on an Excel and is kind of a little bit too inefficient, then you can say, hey, you know what? I know how to build websites. I'm going to make him a reservation taker online so people can take reservations for his website so I can improve this small little part of his business. That right there sets you apart from all the other developers that are just building stuff uh, as a toy project. Why? Because you just had your first real life project. You have to come up with something useful that actually people really need, like your uncle, for example, and you will also get into the business mindset that requires you when you need to make a website, when you need to understand the needs of a client, and also you help somebody. And also because it is for free, those people wouldn't complain that much. Um, I don't know about, I don't know if you have ever said to anybody, hey, let me give you this food for free and they'll be like, no, fuck that. If you do the same thing with your skills and with your code, people will appreciate them, people will take them, and since it's a free thing that you're giving them, it'll be a learning experience for both of you. They wouldn't complain that much, you will do the best job you can, 
and it's gonna be a win-win for everybody but especially especially for you I know many people say you shouldn't work for free because they don't appreciate it blah 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 but I really think that that's exactly what you need to do when you're starting work for free as you know I always say you should always learn when you need to learn you shouldn't learn just because it's there on the internet and it's a list of things you should learn you should always learn when you need to learn and in this case this is the perfect example you will only need to learn with the features that you're building I think that if you combine these two things you're gonna start and have a career that's gonna be amazing I wish I have done this sooner when I started I have I didn't start doing stuff for free I did later on when I was traveling but it is one of the best ways to get clients it is one of the best ways to get experience working with them one of the best ways to apply knowledge one of the best ways to make a portfolio also you will make useful things you will help people be kind to one another like it's gonna be just an amazing thing and again don't get too caught up into no they should pay me me, 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 me. Don't get caught up in that. Get caught up in, I'm gonna help somebody, I'm gonna do something useful, I just learned this code, I'm gonna apply it in a real life project. Trust me, that is gonna get you a job. Either in a company, when you go to the interview, and the interview people tell you, what have you done? And you have a real life project that are already being built and that are used by people. Or if your uncle sees that you're doing a great job, maybe later he will tell his friend and then you can charge his friend to do something similar. I don't know. It's gonna be like, um, ball snowball is gonna become bigger and bigger and bigger the more people you help the more people are gonna want to help you the more people want to help you the more people you will know the more people you know the more clients you will get etc 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 thank you for watching let me know what you think about this small piece of advice if you have done it let me know how it went if you think that people shouldn't work for free then let me know your opinion and let me know why you think they shouldn't work for free maybe you have an opinion there and i would like to know it that's it for this video um, leave a like, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe, share this with your friends, with your junior friend developers, and I will see you on the next one. Be kind to people and eat kimchi. Bye-bye.